Hey, welcome back to Tuesday Afternoon. Hi everybody, it's Tuesday and welcome back. And today I thought we'd do something a little different and let's draw a character. And I decided, eh, let's draw Sundrop. If you have any suggestions on future drawings, let me know. This is pretty much just a quick sketch, nothing too technical, just kind of a freehand type sketch of Sundrop. If you want to see a character in the future, let me know. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it because I just want to see what people enjoy and what they like. And I think that art has always been my passion and my first love was drawing. I'm really looking forward to what they do with Sundrop for Ruin because he was such an amazing character in Security Breach. I just really loved his outfit. He was perfect for the daycare. He was a clown, a gesture, and he really acted like one. So I don't know if they're going to continue that similar kind of antics or if they're going to go a little bit darker with him. And maybe they'll have him a little bit different than what he was in the security breach game. His attitude, his persona. I'm just really wondering what they're going to do with the character. Sundrop was really two characters in one. Sundrop, Moondrop, Sun, Moon, whatever you like to call this animatronic. But he was one of the best ones, I think, personally. He had these big white eyes and I had made a sculpture and the eyes just shined in the dark and I totally loved it. I do have that tutorial available on my YouTube channel and you can check that if you want to. I will have it in the description below and also I'll probably post it in the comments section. But Sundrop had a sun-shaped head and then half of it was a crescent moon and he had this mischievous grin like he was really up to something. And you could see all those teeth and right in the middle of where the teeth were you could see where it turned into the crescent and I just loved that little detail. That's one thing with Security Breach, like there's all these little fine details and all this lore that you can explore and enjoy. And as an artist, being able to dive deeper into a character and be able to draw that, it's so nice because there's so much character develop already when you're drawing them, you're sculpting them, and it just makes the experience of it so much better you're drawing Sundrop, you want to make sure that you capture how tall he actually is. And he's very slender and a lanky body with these long limbs. And they flow really nice even though they're animatronics. They almost have this very fluid movement, almost unnatural movement. But in the game, they make it move so well where you just accept this type of movement but I think it's kind of to create that clown gesture like appearance you know and it's a perfect character for a daycare it's perfect it's entertaining it's fun kids love it you'd never suspect him to be up to anything you know he's just a clown he's there to entertain but Sundra has another side to him, and that's Moondrop. And that's when the lights go out that you have to worry. One thing missing from this drawing is Sundrop's ruffled collar with the yellow stripe on the very edge. And I just couldn't include it because the perspective didn't call for it. But he does have a ruffled collar and that, that is also repeated onto his waist. He has ribbons on his wrists and he has these amazing elf-like shoes on. It's just these little details of Sundrop make this amazing character. Have I told you how amazing Sundrop is? 
Can you tell he's my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's security breach character? I had to draw him first, you know? As you can see here, I made the background dark. Even though Sundrop is very, very, very adamant that you keep the lights on, I decided let's capture those moments right when the lights go out. We all know what's going to happen. Let me know if you want me to draw Moondrop next. Quite a different personality. Sun is very upbeat, energetic. Loves to be with children. He cleans up the daycare. And he takes his job very seriously. But Moon is very different. So let me know if you want to see that. And what character you would like to see next. I love drawing, painting, sculpting. Art is my life and it's fun to share it with others. So let me know what you want to see next. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll always try to answer if I can. And I'm sure there's someone in the comments section that if I can't answer, they'll know the answer to it. I had a great time working on this sketch and I really enjoyed trying to make this character look like he was in movement. I was thinking that Montgomery Gator would be a really great character to draw. Him crawling around on the floor with his wild eyes and his jaw askew. I think that would be a really amazing character to draw. Or maybe even Chica, you know, she looked pretty bad by the end of it. And I can't imagine what they're going to make her look like in Ruin. Well, let's face it, they're all going to look pretty bad. They're going to look a little worse for the wear. But I think it will make it a very scary game because Security Breach was bright and shiny and very fun looking, like a place you would visit and have a birthday party. I think this is going to be quite a different feeling and I'm here for it and I can't wait to see what Five Nights at Freddy's Future will be and what the Pizza Plex, what it's going to be like. Wow guys, here we go. It's pretty much done. This is just standard printing paper. I wanted to show that you could come up with a pretty good drawing just with regular paper. You don't have to use anything fancy and I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? I included a short clip at the end of my sun drop sculpture. So if you're into sculpting, you might enjoy it. I had a great time drawing sun drop and I hope you liked it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Bye.